Uh, got some <laughs> questions. Hi, Liz. Just wondering whether you have ever considered having relatives and friends of yours on the pod to give more of an insight into your lives. Example, Laura for Dan, Jack for Adam, not my baby son, Jack for Adam, <laughs> uh, his brother, or Serica, no. spelt like you think it's spelt, for Carl. Have you, have you thought about that? What? I have thought about it, yeah. Yeah, you thought about I, getting your dad on? No, do you know what? I think I'd get our Jack on as long as you two got those two people on. That would That is such a very... That's, that's me putting a couple of chips in for a big pot, that. Our Jack being on this, I think, could actually be possibly funny. Can we get Dolly on? No, <clears> not Dolly. No, well, Dolly knows why, too much. Oh, she yeah. knows too much. So why we have to get our girlfriends on? I tell you what, if Sarah Kerr was in on a lock-in... Nope. You would see Carl the most uncomfortable that he's ever been on this podcast... Because with two beverages in her, she wants to tell every story yeah. in the world about Carl, and it's so fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, so no, the amount of anxiety it would cause Laura is off the fucking charts. But I think she'd be all right if she just chilled out. But there's not like what? What? I think I, both of them should do a segment at the arena. But what? <laughs> First gig, we're going to go oh with an arena. God. Oh my god! There's no story that I haven't told about how pathetic and gross I've been in the past. Like, what am I holding back? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, fucking right! Shoe is wrapped around the chair. <laughs> you web. Oh my god! Adam's doing booking Bronco <laughs> on an office chip. Oh, fucking hell, lads! The settings have just changed. Do you know the phrase "bucket list" didn't exist before the film? Yes, it did. That's didn't. not. Yes, it did. It didn't. Google it. Yes, it did. Why I we... had that same reaction. Why are we Googling it? What was Steve here for? Come on, Steve. Steve's <laughs> doing work. Oh, it didn't sorry. exist before the film. Is yes, he already editing something? It, that's Carl. I don't know who's told you that, but that's it's a lie. A, that's a wrong. Yeah. That's a bad wrong. Carl says. Carl says the. 2007. Interview. The saying bucket list meaning origin. Right, go for it, Carl. What have you got? Go on. Inform uh, us. Let's tell you back yourself down here. So 2016. It was first authenticated the use of the phrase estate, in the Newshire Post on June 2006, which was talking about the film Sock on the End of My Cock. No, that's not true. It's not true. Because based on... I believe it, everything you see in the mainstream media. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they want you to We believe. had the phrase, the bucket list didn't exist before the film. It did. Who's that written by? Hillary Clinton. I've been making bucket lists since I was like five. But you haven't been calling it that. I because have. look at the amount of fucking articles on Google that are talking about it. Sorry, People though. are very angry over the term bucket list. Carl, though. <laughs> you. What, though? What? You've been making bucket lists yeah. since you were five. Yeah. Yeah. What was the... What were your bucket lists? Uh, Michael Liverpool. Uh, Play for Liverpool. Was it just that? Is it the same as it is today? <laughs> Play for Liverpool. Get bitches. <laughs> Make money. There we go. Smoke blunts. He wrote the first Scouse hip hop song. <laughs> it was coined in 2007, not the other way around. It wasn't. Carl, no offence, I'm fuck. dead bored. Um, oh, I Liz, both wrong, so I Liz, off, do any of you, particularly Adam and Dan, Google yourself. Oh, flow. Carl's just Googled. What are we talking about? <laughs> I'm going to Google you. Don't. Eyelids, do any of you, particularly Adam and Dan and not Carl because he's boring, Google yourself. Just Google Adam to try and find his live at the Apollo set again. Couldn't find it. Is ev uh, uh, could could not player. find it. Is it available anywhere? iPlayer. iPlayer. If they Googled Adam Rowe live at the Apollo, it will be the top hit. Carl, will you actually do that now? Just and Will you put the telly on <laughs> so I can see? you just got to watch it on iPlayer. It's not on it YouTube is. as a set, is it? No. No, it will be at some point, though. That arse wrap that'll put it up. Is my. There it is. It's Do you know how the internet works? You just Google Adam Rowe Live the Apollo. Ella Knight. Calling you out here, mate. I want to see what the fills are. The third top result for Adam was Adam Rowe I. The top result for me is Dan Nightingale, wife. Comedian wife, then wiki, then Side drugs. note. Oh, she's put, side note, Adam looks so much better now than when he did... Uh, club comic. I do. That's right. Thank you, Ella. Well saved there. Uh, so yours are comedian wife, wiki, drugs, tattoo, height, South Shields, tour, have a word, wife again, podcast controversy, we don't talk about it, tour, and then have a word podcast. What's mine? If you just put Adam Rowe. I think it's Muppet, just 10 times. I haven't got a wiki. I... Podcast, Frog on Bucket, Run Con, Dan Nightingale, Tickets, Liverpool Tour, Live Depot. Oh, Oh. Wow. <laughs> Who's 
Google Adam it's Rowe. It's got a key that I'm one of yours. Because people are like, Adam Rowe, who's that cunt? <laughs> you know, you know. The, uh, the Antaki sat next to him. Funny. Uh, Laura doesn't like that it's wife, but it's the most obvious thing in the world because she's been in. Ev she's been mentioned in every episode since we started, and she's you know, I don't know. It's, it's just funny. obvious. I think a lot of. I think that's a lot of obvious one, but it made her feel a bit. No, I don't Google myself, and I try not to read reviews, and even the fucking. We get positive, 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 positive. And then if I read one negative, it's just like, what's the fucking point? We're doing good work. I could read we work 50,000 positive comments about me on the podcast. One negative comment ruins your, ruins your day for about an hour. So yeah. ruins your hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, it has the possibility to ruin your day, but after an hour, you get over it. It ruins your hour. Yeah. <laughs> ruins the hour. If you wank over all the good stuff, then you, I think if you get too into like, oh yeah, and this person says I'm brilliant, then it registers, then, you know, you deserve the, the negative one. That I just try and detach from all of it. It's fine. I just delete we them. Work, if I see one uh, about you, the negative or delete it, him. We fucking work our asses off on this. I know it looks like we just turn up and fuck around, but this shit has taken over our lives. We work hard. If someone's like, Meh, I don't like this person, go fuck yourself. And anyone I'm, who's like, oh, I'll tell you what, we should do. Get rid of them and get... The this is a fucking family, mate. Yeah, I hope and you die, person who comments that. This is... We will honestly in put this fire. in the wall before someone gets fucked off. <laughs> um, God, I got really annoyed. Fucking wall! Oh! What was the question? Oh, did you Google yourself? I have done it before, just to make sure there's no, like, blogs about me when certain things have happened. <laughs>